<laughs> so I think this video is a terrible idea and I'm gonna do it anyway. For a while now I've been dealing with depression and the more that I talk about it, the less alone that I feel and the more that I learn about the people in my life. So I've been ruminating on this idea of this being a video that I talk about how difficult it's been for me to kind of go through this era of creative process. And it's weird because I feel like this is the worst platform to do that on for me because I haven't really invested in it a lot. Um, but also like part of this process of breaking through this thing that's been really difficult for me this last year and a half. Because my experience with depression has really been brought to light through this experience of trying to make stuff on YouTube. That's like just the funniest thing to say. It feels so stupid. But it is what it is. About a year and a half ago, I decided that I really wanted to try and do some more video based stuff. And I wanted to get over the fact that I hated the way that I looked, the way that I talked about things, kind of the weird perspective that I bring to things that isn't particularly scientific or mathematic and has a lot of weird religious undertones like in it. And it just all came to a head in making a video because Every time I put something out, it just felt like it had to be right. Like a lot of people were going to see it and I guess see me in a different way. And I'm not really sure what it is. I think there's something about like putting something on YouTube that really feels like you're trying. You know, I've worked, I've done a lot of writing online. I've done a lot of uh, podcasting and screencasting, all that kind of stuff. But there's something different about working on YouTube that kind of screams like, I want attention, look at me. So I kind of approached it like I do with so many other things in my life, which is this brute force attack where I know that it's going to be uncomfortable for a while. And so I just continue to like push through and press on and do the thing that's uncomfortable until eventually it feels a little less com uncomfortable and it just kind of works. But I kept hitting this like silent wall. There was just something there and and as I pressed on it, all of these things started to unravel. And it was just the weirdest experience of sitting in front of this camera, trying to talk about like code and working and stuff like that. And then having all this crap come up, like just stirring up these murky waters of things in my childhood and um, relationships with people that I'd like tried to ignore, but like I just really, really hated them. And it kind of became clear that there was really nothing to do except sit with it for a little bit. Now, this is really hard for me because I'm not the sit with it for a little bit type. If you know me, I just want to break through everything, just press on through, find the answer and move on with my life. And kind of for the first time, I couldn't. And even in recording this, it's super weird for me to talk about something that doesn't really feel like it has a clear solution to it yet. Because I want to inspire, not necessarily you, but I want to inspire myself into action, believing that things are possible, that I can continue to press forward without having to deal <laughs> with the stuff that is behind me. I think for the first time in my life, I'm starting to be okay with the idea that there are going to be times where I just can't. And while I've grown up with the value of that kind of war of art mindset where you just continue to do the work every day, show up and put yourself out there, there are times when that is not the best approach. And I think that's why I wanted to make this video, to have some type of landmark where I was really honest with myself about a time where I couldn't just do the work and press forward, that it was unreachable for me. And I hope that in times where I'm trying to convince myself or someone else that it is possible, uh, that this video will uh, remind me to have empathy for that person, even if it's myself. As far as how that applies to you, I'm not sure, but I do hope that if you find yourself in a place like this right now, um, that you're encouraged that you're not alone. So that's it. Weird video. Hopefully now I can get it out of my head and move on. You're awesome. I love you. See you later. 
It's done. 